Hello and welcome back to another video. This problem, we're given a manufacturer producing fabric where the quantity Q of this fabric is a function of the selling price P, where P is measured by this function F of P. So what does it mean to say that F of 20 is 10,000? That means that P, we have F of P, so F of 20, this means that the function F is taking in the value of P as the selling price $20 per yard. And when the fabric is sold at $20 per yard, the quantity that is sold is 10,000 yards. And what does it mean for the derivative of F when P is equal to 20? is equal to negative 350. In a similar situation, when we're selling for $20 per yard, the rate of change of the quantity is changing by negative 350 yards per change in dollar per yard of the selling price. So negative 350 yards per dollar per yard. Okay, and if that makes not the most sense for this um, unit right here. We can think of that as going, if you're changing the price by $1 per yard, the quantity is gonna go down by 350 yards. So we're also given that the total revenue earned is given by this function. R of P is P F of P. And we're asked to find the value of the derivative of R when P is equal to 20. So R, of p, looking for the derivative, and that is going to be p, since p is just a constant, we don't have some um, product rule issues here. It's p times the derivative of f. When we're looking for 20, we have 20 times f prime of 20, which we know is negative 350. 20 times negative 350 is negative 7,000. And this is the rate of change of R, which is the total revenue, over change in P, which is the selling price. So it's negative $7,000. Uh, it's a little weird to write negative money, but negative $7,000 per change in dollars per yard. So this is for B, so we found A and B. As always, thank you for liking and subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video.